I'll be showing you how to get all of the different Doom guys that are hidden throughout TNT Phobia. If you have not played TNT Phobia, then please do that first. Otherwise, this is major spoilers. Okay, opening map here tells you to ID Clev to 21. Uh, I will be cheating here, by the way. I will be using um, God Mode. I may turn on Light Amplification. These are all just to give you better ideas of how to do stuff. If you're only missing, you know, if there's just one guy you're having trouble looking, you know, you're having trouble finding, I will going to try to give clues before I show exactly how to do it. So that way it, you know, it'll, it'll help you get through and find them all and get unstuck. All right. So the first one there, there's a sequence of, uh, four doom guys you have to find. And they're all, they're mostly perspective based. The first one, well, first we got to change the perspective. You can see how everything looks different there. That's going to be a theme. We come down through here, come to the exit, come back. Everything is slightly different now. We come through up here, look to the left, and there's a Doom guy poking out. Give him a scare. Now, if you look down through there, you have to have that door open when you come up here. When you look down through there, there's the Doom guy. Give him a scare. Come over here. There's this. Turn around. Doom guy. Give him a scare. Come around here. Press the switch. Come over here. If you look down the hallway, light amplification on. You're gonna see a Doom guy eventually. There he is. Now we can come down here. He runs off. Light amplification off. Now there's one last Doom guy, and he is right there. You can tell you found him. You can tell you found your final Doom guy when they make that pain sound. We come down here. We can see the Doom guy from the last area right there. He has nothing to do with the Doom guy in this area. So in this one, we're going to keep changing the perspective. We're going to keep coming down through here. First Doom guy off in the distance behind the pillar. You see him there? Give him a scare. Come around over here. Second Doom guy to the right. Give him a scare. All right. Now we have a guy to the left here. Light amplification. Give him a scare. And then we come down here. Light amplification. And he's there. Okay. Next area here. That's the Doom guy from this area. Has nothing to do with finding the next one. Now, there is a, a sequence of uh, four Doom guys fo followed by the final one. The sequence is a little bit obvious when you look around at the map enough. To give you a hint, there's four teleporters, and this involves using the four teleporters and then finding the hidden fifth doom guy. Hidden fifth doom guy is toward the exit of the area. Uh, so I don't remember exactly. I, I think number one's around here. Okay, number one. Look uh, over here. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know how to trigger them. Just fire. Eventually, yep. You see the doom guy out there. Oh, you look for the blood stains on the floor. They tell us their sequence. So we were just in the one with the one blood stain. Here's the one with the two blood stains. And you don't have to wait for them to disappear off the map either. You can just kind of like, once the Doom guy appears, he he's gonna do whatever it is he needs to do. Uh, hello. There he is. So now we're going to three. There he is. Now we're going to four. 
Oh. Turning on god mode. Was this four? Yeah, this is four. There he is. All right. Now we can... Uh, it's not this one. It is the next door that I want. So, now we can begin working toward the exit. And the, fi the final Doom guy is in this area, so... And he's over here. And if you're fast, you can catch him. You can see him there. Alright, this one. This one's kind of a weird one. Um, I lower that thing to get the vials out of the way. Because you got to shoot the exit switch through this window. Oh, sorry. So, so, much for the, so much for the hints I was intending to give, huh? This one just outright tells you... I just outright told you what to do. Alright, here's the Doom guy. Come over. Say hi to him. Alright, so to get out of this area, we come up here. And grab this. Go back down. Alright, now we're out of that area. Okay, now this one, it's, uh, so you're going to see the screen flash when you go into the room, and inside of there is, uh, hints of what you're supposed to do. Now, next, now the next, uh, hint is that it involves the shotgun shells that you see, and then the next hint is that the shotgun shells create a path that you're supposed to take. So, I'm going to save state here, just in case, yep, see, I went too far. Okay, so shotgun shell, shotgun shell, and if you come over here, shotgun shell. Now, <laughs> exactly what this, how to do this path, I, I may not exactly get correct, so I think it's through here, went too far, through here, then around here like this, and then you come down here, yes, that is exactly it. And here's our thing. And then, oh, right, we, now we backtrack, we come here, just click all of these side panels and you'll see the platforms lowering, the room gets a little bloody, come up here, and our Doom Guy. And now we follow these and it takes us back to our uh, room as it was before. Grab that. So, for this next one, I'm going to save state here, and the secret to getting the Doom Guy, the Doom Guy is in this room, but you have to do something before you get to this room. That's the first hint. The second hint is, look at the teleporter. Alright, end of hints. This, this corner of the teleporter is different. So I'm going to keep saving here because it is very easy for me to fall off. We're going to come through here. What, what to do at this point is pretty obvious, so I will just go ahead and say it. You come over here where there's a switch. Throw the switch. And then you go over to the other part there. I'm being very needlessly brave on this. All right, pick this up. Now we're back into the normal room and something's gonna be quite different here. This part down here used to be this like chaotic split up mess. Now it just keeps going, going, going into the wall here. And we get our doom guy.
There we go. Okay, so this one, this is a very quick area to beat. All you got to do is walk into the teleporter, but obviously we want the Doom guy. Look around the room. There is something that is different in here. That is your first hint. And here we go. Uh, no, that's not here we go. Here we go. This wall is lit up. And from here, uh, it's really obvious what to do. You come over here. You can't throw the switch. You come back over here. There's nothing to do. You come back over here. And we're in a different room. Yeah, from here, there's really only one thing to do, though it is incredibly cinematic and neat. I'll still show you. You come out. Come around here. You start looking through the window. And you can see how everything in there is different now. You come in here yourself. Oh, everything disappears. Now you take the elevator, because it's the only thing you can do. And, well, it went up instead of back down. Come over here. We're back to the main room, and there's our guy. Alright, this one. So, um, your hints are, it's not in this room. It's not in this room. And the Doom guy is also not in the next room. There's another hint. And your final hint is, this it just looks really cool. It does, it does not help us get our Doom guy. So... Already told you he's not in this room, so let's just get through it. This is our final room. And uh, there's an area out here. We will explore that first. So what this does is you click that switch. It opens this up. You come out here. This opens up area, or pardon me, level 32 which is accessible through level 31. That's level 31 out there, which is, of course, secret. So we're here. Uh, once you come back through, do not jump down there. You cannot get back up, so you still need to be up here. Okay, so first hint is it's uh, it's in here, and it's a wall hump secret. So, yep, you can do it, you can do it through here, or there's um, actually a wall accessible right up by the switch. And when you're up here now, you just kind of, uh, yeah, you just come over here. You've got, oh, turn on the light amplification. Doom guy in the corner. Uh, and you can just jump down here. And, yeah, you can see the, that's where we were before. Okay, that was, uh, Doom guy 11, I believe. Continuing on. Okay, so, uh, first hint. Uh, these... Well, these do, uh, th the ones up here do nothing. There is a hidden one in this room. So let's go get it and find our, and get our Doom guy. Um, yeah, that, that's our, pretty much our one hint. Get it, look around. There you go. I'm going to turn on light amplification for mine and your sake. I know everything is much darker on YouTube, so, um, we will navigate through this puzzle. You can pretty much navigate along a wall until you hit a dead end, then just kind of like put your left hand on the wall and trace it until you get to it. But once you get to the end, once you find this corner, don't keep following it. Follow, go to the inside here. And that's where our thing is. And you will see Doom Guy rise up. Give him a shot. Light amplification back on. And just obviously do that process in reverse. This is once again a very short area if you don't go looking for the Doom Guy because you come in through this door and the exit is right here. Now this one, it's uh, pretty obvious if you know the Doom world at all. Um, this is a replica of, well, it's not not a replica, but it's reminiscent of episode one, level one of the first Doom. And if you know that area at all, you'll know where the secret is. So first I'm gonna get rid of this barrel because it does get in our way. And uh, so, next hint, the secret you're looking for is in this room. And if you just kind of look around, it's probably pretty obvious. Cause, and it's just like... Just like, like E1, M1. Okay, I got him. Where is my big armor? Next hint. So, next area. 
first hint is this nut's part of the next area, so don't even go looking in here. This is part of the previous area. We already got that Doom guy. Uh, okay. Next hint. It's he's not in this room. Next hint. He's also not in this room. Uh, don't shoot those barrels. Or do shoot them. Who cares? So, we come up here. And this takes us permanently out of this area. And our first room guy is you come over here, take a right. Um, I'm probably going to be screwing this stuff up a lot. Nope, don't go up there. Uh, we are looking for a... Uh, so I actually had it. I thought I had these correct in my notes. There's three Doom guys inside of this area. Uh, there's a lot of like small sub levels linked in, so I will try to properly break them out inside of the YouTube seek list. Hmm. So I'm seeing places where there's Doom guys, but there's one I'm looking for for first because he would be uh, considered the next sequential one. Well, I blew it. Okay. Uh, so do you, maybe you do go up on one of these. Okay, well, so back to the start here. Uh, I thought it was uh, just take a couple of rights right off, but that brings us over there, which is not where we want to be. So let's come up here, come down, and yeah, totally not where we want to be. Well, let's get this Doom guy first. This is uh, 21, I think. So just look for the entrance here. This one's pretty easy. You just kind of follow this. You're going to come to a fork right here. Take the left fork. Now now everything is just dead ends up until the actual resolve, I believe. Well, just take another left. Here we go. We got a bunch of bodies. Another left? Nope. That's a dead end. Come here. Here we go. Now that we found that... We can start backing out. Oh, this is not a shooty. This is a button. Okay. So that was, uh, I think it was our 21st Doom guy. I'll have it all figured out when I link it to the comments. We don't want to go out there yet. We want to stay in here because there is two more Doom guys. Uh, if you follow the wall, you find that room that we were just in as well as you find this room. I believe this is 22. Oh no, I'm, I'm way ahead of my count here. Um, so that last one was like 12, 13, or 14. So just, uh, this one's super easy. You just come over here. You throw that switch, and now you just get trolled. Can you get the switch? Which one's coming up? Oh, it was this one. Didn't get it. Come over here. Also didn't get it. Look out here, and there's your Doom guy. Uh, if you're playing without cheats, you should probably come over here, pick up ammo, get told that it's about the journey. So now we're looking for our one final Doom guy in this area. We're looking for a... I'm going to kind of just right-hand wall here. Uh, so our final Doom guy is hidden inside of... Uh, these, all these crates and all these boxes. What you do is you find, you come across a health bonus, and then the area turns into this like gray. I'm, I'm turning on light amplification. Turns into this like gray brutalist, brutal brutalist. Ah, here we go. So coming from this area, if you take a left, come around here find the stairs, and you come down. There's our pack. There's what we're looking for. So now as we start to come out, stuff gets screwed up, man. I don't remember exactly where to go here, but there's really only one path, I believe. Come over here, and uh, we have Doom Guy. Go back to the light, and you see, we've just snapped back out of there. Now we have our three Doom guys. 
we can leave that area. There's multiple exits. I'm going to first come down here. Uh, this one, how do I do this one? Do you, I think you just keep taking the right-hand paths. And you come across this. And you go up. Uh, you, there is a secret if you make it over there, but, you know, the secret is just kind of like getting trolled. Uh, there is something else to do here, though. Okay, yep. We have this switch. We come out here. We have a Doom guy in the distance. Light amplification. And then you can come out here. And, uh, what do you do out here? There's a switch here? No, not a switch here. Switch here. What does this do? This brings us back here. Okay. Well, I'm just going to left-hand wall until we get back to the area that we wanted to, which is here. Now there's one more Doom guy. Not here. Uh, not there, obviously. Wait, where's my last Doom guy? Let's see here. Uh, brown lighted maze, six pillars. River area. Oh, okay. That's all of our Doom guys in this area. So now we want to go to the next area. Um, first spoiler. He's not in this room. Uh, we actually got the Doom guy for what would be this map already. He's, well, the, the next map starts when you get to the top of the uh, blue stuff, so. All right. We just gotta wait for the switch to appear. Normally you gotta navigate that maze, but uh, you're quick. You don't need to. And sorry, I'll turn on light amplification during these really dark parts to help you out on YouTube. Okay. So, this is the start of uh, map 15. There's a lot going on here. Uh, uh, first tip, this is where the warp to uh, level 31 is. Uh, next tip on how to get the... Now, uh... First tip on how to find, or next tip on how to find this, the secret level. There's a warp. It, it involves uh, a warp that is here. Uh, next tip, the warp is behind a wall that you must hump. Um, final hint. There's a wall that you hump immediately after the warp, but keep uh, humping walls. Keep looking. Okay. So now, uh, Doom Guy hints. Uh, once again, it's behind a hidden wall. Uh, there's uh, next hint. It's multiple hidden walls. Uh, next hint. It's this room. The other rooms do not have anything to do with the Doom Guy. So let's go get him. So you have to first come in here. Then open this up. Get told next time. And you come around here. And you got Doom Guy down in the distance. We'll turn on the light amplification. Alright, we got him. Now we're out of here. Okay, so now on to the secret. I might pick the wrong one of these at first. No, I did not. Take the teleporter. There's that wall that you hump after the teleporter. Why I said keep humping walls is because here you go. Your chariot awaits you. Level 31. Okay, so level 31. Hints. Now there's a few things here. Um, the Doom Guy. He's behind a hidden wall. Uh, that's your first hint. Uh, next hint is uh, look for uh, light and now, there's also something else hidden in this area. There's an item hidden in this area. First hint about what the item is for is, well, it's not really a hint, but it's for map 32. 
Now, um, look for the texture that is missing in map 32. And the texture is of an eyeball. Okay, end of hints. And now I'm just gonna go do everything. So you come in here, here's the hidden texture that we're missing for map 32, we grab that. We come in here. Now, when you look around, this is, uh, well, I guess it's not necessarily lit a little bit better, but you can see here, I'm here, and there's your Doom guy. Here's what the switch opened in that area. It opened up this wall. We can come in here. We drop down. We save. Now, your hints for this area are... Um, switches can do multiple things. Uh, listen to where the sounds come from when you use a switch. Uh, when you find the health potion, there's something else in there that you need to pick up. And look at the thing that you pick up, look at what it looks like, and look for something that might be missing. Okay, so let's go do it. Um, so over here, there's a pit. We're going to hit the switch that's in there. Then we're going to go to the teleporter that's not close to it, which warps us back to this area. And that switch has will have opened up um, one of these paintings. I forget which one it is. Um, but you'll, you'll see it when we get here. And inside of there, there's a second one of those things that we picked up in map 31 and then we use it where there's a missing texture and that will open up the room to the doom guy switch other teleporter come around up here gonna walk around that and here you can see that second texture i talked about grab that now what you want to do is come back down around here fill that in click that one and now this opens up get your doom guy now come back around here, throw this switch, go in there, throw that switch, come down here, and oh my god. Okay, let's do this again. There, there, on down. Alright, so now we're back into the uh, level we were. We're further up than you've seen before, but trust me, it's still the same level. All right, so now we come down, uh, come here. Uh, all right. Oh, this one, this one's tough for me without light amplification. Um, you come here, yeah, just go over toward the torch. You're gonna find an opening here. Now go left and just keep looking for openings. Keep going left, I think. And eventually the Doom guy is just right there. Throw the switch. There you go. Now let's exit. Just to give you an idea what everything looks like. And come up. Okay, so this area. First hint, you can see a shiny blue thing up there. Uh, second hint. Uh, click on stuff that looks very clickable. Uh, next hint, the area ends when you go through the door that's up here. Um, next hint is, uh, windows. And then the final hint is, uh, trying to get like, like, you can't just drop into the window. This one took me a little a hot bit because I thought I, if the window was passable that I would just be able to drop into it well not the case so one two oh man I did not make that I'm gonna redo that cycle here so this one here lowers the thing outside this one here lowers that platform there so let's go one two and save all right There we go. Then you just come down here. There's your dude. Okay. So, uh, let's start getting over here. Okay, first hint on this area. It is not in this hallway. 
and it is not in the room afterward either. The room afterward being the one with the four switches. Um, look, kind of just like that last area, look for health bonuses. And, um, well, in general, it's a pretty obvious one. So we're just going to do this sequence here. We has nothing to do with Doom Guy, has nothing to do with secrets. Yeah, this is certainly one of the more obvious ones. It's a little bit of an order of operations puzzle in the sense that uh, once you go somewhere, you can't ungo somewhere. So just use a lot of save states, as you'd imagine. Um, there should be. Yeah, here we go. So you grab this one over here. Then the first jump is on the opposite side, I believe. Um, if I remember correctly, if, if I'm doing all this correctly, I'm probably going to have to resume state a lot. Uh, jump into that barrel so you don't overshoot it. Just come over here. Uh, I, no, you cannot make that jump, I believe. So uh, this jump, I think you have to strafe 50 this, which means you, uh, while running, move forward and sideways at the same time. So you're moving at a uh, diagonal, which in Doom World makes you move faster. So something like that, except, you know, you got to... Gotta aim. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna try it just straightforward. Yeah, that's that feels like way undershooting it. <laughs> you know, I'm not great at Doom. I am generally better than this. How is this happening? There we go. Alright, so next jump is simpler. You come here, come around. And that's our Doom guy. Okay, on to the next room. So, uh, first hint. This, this um, area is just this room. Okay, so everything you need to do is inside of this room. Second hint. Uh, look around, um, you know, not just ambiently, but, uh, when you get the sphere guy or when you get the, um, health bonus, look around. And then when you figure out what to do there, just kind of keep looking around. And then what to do becomes obvious. So let's go ahead. Let's do it. End of hints. Come up here and pick this up. Oh, there's an eyeball. Now, if you see where our... Gunshots are puffing. They're puffing too low. We're not hitting the eyeball. Now the eyeball stays while we're on the desk. When we come off, the eyeball disappears. So what we have to do is we have to get higher. So we come up here. Oh, where's my eyeball? There we go. We come up higher on the computer. Shoot the eyeball. Now, like I said, look around. Doom guy over there. Oh, now what to do is obvious. Just jump in the drawer and peek boot. Okay. So let's exit this area. Okay, so, uh, hints. Not this room. Not this room. Not out here. Say hello to Smiley for me. Okay, so, in this office, uh, there's two segments to this office. But you can't get to the second segment right away. Uh, this wall comes down, some other walls come down or something. It's not too difficult to figure out how to get to the second segment. So um, before I go ahead and spoil everything, over there, there is an item which gives you a hint of what you were looking for. Um, and once you get that hint, I believe that's when you can then go get the item, but you can't at first. So that means something changes. So if you look for something that changes, you will find uh, the answer. So let's go do the answer. We're gonna start off, we're gonna come down here. What we're doing is we're going to the lava area. Not that one, sorry. Uh, yes, here, and then this brings us to the lava area through uh, this door. So look at this guy, it's raised up. Here's the lava area. 
and we're looking for the place where you can walk and go up a end path here, light amplification for YouTube, you get a soul sphere, and now we've opened up the second office area. And in the second office area, you can now pick this up, which says, where did I leave my flash drive? Okay. So now let's, I believe that's the trigger, which allows you to come down here. Yes, it is. And um, so final hint, what you're looking for is now in this room. I already pointed out the object that changes. You notice this isn't raised anymore. There you go. There's one USB flash drive. So now we bring this back to where we were. Oop, things have changed. I don't know where the Doom guy is here. Where is the Doom guy? Because you put it in, you put the flash drive in here, and then you hear him. Um, oh, all the papers are scattered around now. Is that, was that the way it was before? Oh, and the TV's on. Okay. Well, that's cool. Anyways, um, that was area 20. So, uh, area 21. Um, you're, you know, hints here. Uh, you're looking for, uh, Doom Guy with perspective. Um, area 21 is the, um, other parts of the area down here. The areas without the computer. Um, you're looking for a Doom Guy through perspective, and then another Doom Guy through perspective, and then you're looking for a now now a specific um, health bonus appears, and then you're looking for a final Doom Guy through perspective. So lots of like hidden Doom Guys with perspective stuff going on. All right, let's go do it. Here we go. Uh, we come down here. There is this area. Um, I don't know why it happens. Sometimes it's covered in gore, sometimes it's not. You can see Doom Guy down there. We just give him the scare. He gets out of there. We go back to that um, underground area down here now. And we want to go... Um, yeah. See, down here. This is where we got to the um, Soul Sphere before. And this, this is the one where we got to the Soul Sphere. That's the one you can fit through. So let's go to the one where you can't fit through. And Doom Guy is down there. Give him a scare. Now, we want to go back the way we came. And we want to come up here, but we, now we want to head up this long hallway. And this brings us to the other lava, uh, or red room. I, I'm not quite sure if that's lava. This is lowered, and we can now get to that um, health bonus. So you, I think you get a straight 50, this one, which as we saw previously, I am not the best at. Okay, cool, got it. Now, uh, a final hint. The Doom guy is not far from here, but he's not in this room. So come out here, and you see this crack. Doom guy down there. That's it. You got him. Now we come up there here, and we're just going back to the office area so that we can exit. All right. Once again, if you don't go looking for Doom guys, this place is basically you just walk from over there to through here. But there's two maps and two Doom guys in here. Okay, so uh, first hint. Oh, if we come down here real quick, we can see that last Doom guy right up there. He has nothing to do with the Doom guy in this area, but it's just a neat little Easter egg. Okay, so uh, hints for this area. <coughs> he is in this room, but you have to keep progressing. You have to progress long beyond this room in order to get to the Doom guy. Um, next hint, it has uh, something to do with the so visible soul sphere. Though, don't try to do anything with the Soul Sphere when you first see it. Uh, just kind of keep progressing and keep paying attention. Um, so, final hint, there's an area where things kind of open up. Um, look to your left, look to your right, and, well, there's your hint. Okay, so, I was talking about the Soul Sphere. It's right there. Don't try to go grab it now. What we're going to do is, we're going to keep progressing. And, map down here, opens up. Uh, what? Do, uh, do, wait, do I have clip on? Oh, I do have clip on. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I'm turning ID clip off. I don't know how that happened. Oh, there we go. Okay. Ignore that. That won't happen for you. But it just makes sense. Just keep going down the waterfalls and it'll make more sense than that.
uh, take the right path here. That's the exit down there, but we want to take the right path, light amplification on. You come through here, you pick up this. Now we just come back through there and you can see that happen. Uh, now, uh, final hint, uh, look at where you just were. So, Doom Guy is out there, light amplification, give him the scare. Now we can just uh, finish off this area. That was what, Doom Guy 22, I think? I'll have them all tagged so that you can just click on the click on you know the specific one you're missing and make your way through it. So yeah, to exit, come just come down here. Ugh. Embarrassing. Yeah, you just come down here and you do the obvious. You grab the daily. Come in here, come out of here. Now, okay, uh, first hint, he's not in here. Uh, second hint, you're looking for uh, uh, health bonuses. Uh, you, now, you see that health bonus? Well, you can't see the health bonuses. And that's it, so go looking for health bonuses. You can see how you can pick it up. You can still hear it. So let's keep progressing. That arch vial makes this a little bit more difficult, obviously. Um, you can right-hand wall your way through this area. Just, um... There is a hidden item in here that makes a lot of stuff easier. Uh, for example, makes this vial easier. Makes a vial in a maze later on easier. Oh, no, yeah. Well, I've got god mode on, so your job is just don't get zapped. So right here, there is a Zerk pack. Okay, so that's two of them. We're looking for a third one. Um, if you if you can you can bait them around a corner and then just kind of like beat them up around the corner, so you can keep using the corner to avoid his blast. Um, yeah, so the three um, um, health bonuses that we're looking for are underneath corpses. And then you can just continue to right hand wall your way back. You can you know you made it back when you see the white lights instead of the red lights. So now we just continue on through here or here. Yeah, it might be this way. Yes. No. Where is this? Oh yeah, sorry. So what we did was is we opened up this area. And you just keep going. Um every you eventually just get there or you hit dead ends. Now, the Doom guy, he is in this room, um, so if you want to look for him yourself, feel free, but just come over here, click, and yeah, he was on that elevator thing. So now we just navigate our way back to where we were. Um, yeah, here we go. All right, so next Doom guy. Um, this one is easy. So... He has nothing to do with anything in this area. Uh, if you've gone through this door, you've already gone too far. That's your first hint. So he's out here. Um, next hint is um, health bonuses. They're almost always significant, so pay attention to your health bonus. Um, third and final hint, it's a perspective thing. Okay, that's it's obvious now. So let's uh, come up here, grab the health bonus, look around. You can see the Doom guy blinking out in the distance. That's that one. Uh, other secrets, you click here. It says, in your dreams, um, you're about to get scared. And then you come in here, and it flashes to E1, M1 real quick. So, very, very cool effects. Come through here, and that, that ends this area. Okay, so this next one is... Um, <clears throat> it has nothing... To, the secret is not in this Baron room. The secret is, or pardon me, the Doom Guy is after the first elevator. And here is the first elevator. Boy, the Barons were very nice to me today. It's like, 
that sort of thing where it's um oh never mind now they're being now they're being bad because i have god mode on they're going easy on me i guess okay so the secret is out here um the first thing we need to do is we need to uh go through the first one to the right of this and it's uh it's non-Euclidean that we're, what we're doing right now. So if it seems spatially weird, that's because it is. Okay, so now we want to come through the one all the way to all the way on the left side, and it will just keep opening, keep opening more doors for us. And this is a reference to a Doom Two map, where you just kind of keep completing the sequence. So all of this part is pretty obvious, and I will give you a hint. So this final one here. You hear something open, but now if you go recheck all of your paths, even the paths in the original area, you're not going to find it. Now, um, this in here, through this doorway, is a new area. But now here's uh, your final hint, which is it's very rare in TNT Phobia for you to be able to backtrack. So this, being able to come down and allow you to backtrack, is pretty unique, right? So, did something happen when we came down here? No. But something happened... Ah, did you see it? Look down there. There's now a passage open. So, we come in through here. Now, this part... Um, first hint. There is uh, something you have to look at from a specific height. And... Uh, next hit, you have to do more than look at it. It's in the distance. So let's just go ahead and do it. Come down here. You have to very vaguely step onto this. Not so much that you get teleported. Now out there, there's a shootable switch. You can see it just go down there. Um, sorry, I should have light amplified that for you. Now we're back here. And this door is open. Uh, so what you have to do is you have to run down there, grab that guy, and get the hell out of dodge. Dodge. But before you do that, you want this to be open so that you can really actually get the hell out of here. So come through here. Get trolled. Flip that switch. See the vial. Vial goes away. And all that, that did for us was it opened up this door. So we're gonna come down here. And like I said, get the hell out of here. That is a spider mastermind. All right, and since we hit that switch earlier, the Doom guy was there. So this ends the area here, and this raises us up. <clears throat> now, uh, hints for this area. Um, uh, there is something that you click on that has an effect. Uh, next hint, it's a uh, platforming puzzle. Or not a platforming puzzle, but it, it involves platforming. Okay, next hint. It does not involve the blue key area. It uh, does not involve the altar. It does not involve the health pack area. Um, uh, next hint. The first sequence of things you do is here. And then, just like the last map, there's something off in the distance. Take a look at it. Know how you interact with things in the distance. And then the final part of the sequence is over here. So, end of hints, let's go do it. Now, we look through here, we find this. I find it, we click this and a platform lowers. And the easiest way I find to get to the platform is taking a right path, kind of like a little bit of a longer loop like this. And we get to it here. And now we want to start off by making our way to the left. And uh, where the hell's our thing? I don't have clip Oh No, I did not have clipping on. There should be something out. Oh, right. We have to... I'm sorry. I, I screwed up the sequence here. We have to get the, uh, uh, the pack over there. So, uh, how do we do this? Okay. So, okay. We did actually want to be where we were. There we go. Can we shoot it from here? It feels like we should be able to. There we go. It turned dark. Now turn around. And uh, there's your Doom guy. 
All right. Let's exit the area, which is just uh, walk toward the um, walk toward the tower thing. Fall on down. Okay, I'm gonna light amplify here just to give you a better idea. Now, uh, I have the sequence for this written down, and I, I it's not very well beta tested. Well, um, beta tested. So let's see if it actually works for us. I'm gonna turn off light amplification. So you start off going to the right stairs, which um, this is all just non-Euclidean stuff. Now we're going to keep reorienting ourselves based on that torch. So first we did the the one that's closest to the right, and now we're going to do the one that's furthest to the right. Note that these stairs go up. Um, I don't know if you got to open those up, but you can, and there's little just, I don't know, gutsy gories in there. So we're going to go back to their switch, reorient ourselves, and now we're going back to the um, furthest right area, but notice we don't want to take the stairs up because we already took those. So this is the even further set. You come down here. Once more, you can open this up. I'm going to light amplify, a little gutsy gory stuffs. Now we're back here again. We're going to reorient ourselves. And uh, what is new? So now it's the... Uh, now we want to go to the... Uh, middle one on the left, which really isn't the best note because there's now multiple over there, but I think it's the one that goes down. Let's check. I'm going to light amplify because it's so dark. Yes. Okay. So take the one that goes down from the middle to the left. You can actually telefrag those guys. Okay, so this part is difficult. What you want to do is immediately run over here, throw this switch, um, if, like, once you're at or under 100 health, grab the Soul Sphere, and as these walls keep lowering, you have less cover for the vials, which flood in. And as you can see, this is very slow. I, I am not good at this area. Develop your own technique, because, yeah. You can kind of incidentally kill the vials by, t by, because they kind of blink in and out. If you're up close to them, they can end up getting telefragged. And... All right, now what you do is obvious. Grab this guy, shoot that guy, and now you're good to go. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to give hints for that area. Well, I should have wrote a script, I guess. Okay, so this area. Um, your first hint is that the Doom guy is in... There's, uh, the Doom guy is in this room. Um, your next hint is there's two things you have to do for the Doom guy. You have to do them elsewhere. And the Doom guy, um, he doesn't appear automatically in here. You have to then do the two things you did transpose into here. Now, third hint, look at this guy. It's kind of, like I said, there's two things. One, two, two things missing. Now, uh, the um, let's give you let's give you two final hints here. Uh, not that way. Not that way. Um, which way is this? Okay, not that way. So back in this original area, aside from the way we just went, there's two areas you can go, and you have to do something in both of those. Okay, let's start. In this area, you're looking for an item. Um, and here it is. Light amplification. We get it's just a little red button. Pick it up. We get out of here. The next area is a maze. I am not the best at solving the maze. What... Um, the first thing you're looking for is a button which opens a door but also reveals a vial. If I remember, the easiest way to get there is take a left, go straight through this one. Now you start taking rights, I think. Um, I think you take a right. Let me take a look down here. Is that just it? Yes, okay. So, and um, because we got that Berserk pack and there's a lot of corners here, we can just bully this vial. 
Now, the other area, if you find your way back to the start, it's very easy to... Let's just get this vial out of here. Uh, I don't. You don't want him to go in there because that's a teleporter. Um, if you find your way back to the start, I think it's just a bunch of right turns. You're wondering why I'm not using my map? Oh, here we go. Yeah, you're looking for this lighted area. Then you come through here, throw that switch. You can see this comes down. And uh, this is definitely safe here because you can go out of the area and not get what you need. Here's the second thing you need, the second item. You got it? All right. So now, like I said, make sure you save because now you're locked out of here forever. Now we go back to the place where I told you, you bring two items, spooky guys. Here, here's some light amplification for you so you don't get blinked to death. Um, all right, come back over here. So once we get the Doom guy, just run. Run as fast as you can out of this area. So pay attention to where, you know, your, your exits are. And you can see those were actually parts of the switch. We get the Doom guy. The area floods with vials, so run. And now we just go to the place labeled exit, which was always open. You didn't have to do anything. So once again, it's possibly a very short area. Okay, so <clears throat> in this area, um, the if you do this without triggering how to open up the secret area, then, um, or sorry, if you do this after triggering how to open up the secret area, it's very easy to find the secret area where the Doom Guy is. Um, next up, it looks like a mapping error where the Doom Guy is, but it's not, it's intentional. Um, look around for sequences of things where one is different. Um, and final hint, that sequence of things where something is different is out here. So, let's do it. There you go. Secret area open. We come in here. Um, so we're gonna. There's a sequence in here, which is uh, pretty obvious to do. You know, at, at most of these maps, it's pretty obvious how to progress in them, or progress past them. It's not obvious how to find the Doom guy. So you look for a series of of the. Here, I'm gonna light amplify because it's pretty dark in here. Um, so you look for this series of health bonuses, and I don't. You know, I I, I don't know like some speed running path on how to find them all as, as efficiently and as quickly as you can. So it is going to look like I'm hunting around because I am. Um, and the next, it's not over here yet, right? No, it is not. You go back, just kind of keep your, you know, your camera pointed in toward this area and just keep strafing around and you will eventually get them all. Okay, so the final one is we go back to the, the way we came, but now this area is opened. This is the area which opened up because of our seat, because of our uh, our torch looking still very dark. So now there's all of these, but they're not looking at you. Oh, they're looking at you, but there's a path through them. So just find the path. And the Doom guy, he's out here in the Hall of Mirrors. <clears throat> uh, definitely save before you enter this. And follow the health bonuses. And there's a part where, yeah, it starts to get a little bit blurry around here about where to go. Um, once again, I haven't really memorized a path out here. Uh, okay, so just kind of for orientation, here is a skull pillar. Here is a tech pillar. So I walked from the skull toward the tech pillar. Now I'm uh, kind of like hugging a wall on the right, I think. Um, hmm. Okay. Now, remember, we got that save state just outside in case, I don't know, we collect too many of the health bonuses, we can't find health bonuses, we just feel lost. There's definitely a claustrophobic feeling out here. Uh, all 
right, lots of health bonuses here, so that at least makes me feel like I haven't really been here. Okay, yep. We got the Doom Guy's favorite texture. Here's a light. There we go. And I don't know if you just get, like, warped back or something, but it feels like you just kind of end up back at the start all of a sudden. Yeah, you see that? I have no idea. I'm assuming it's a warp. All right, so a lot of these guys have killed each other. Making that a lot less eventful. Now we just go back, um, finish off the sequence of health bonuses. Oh, we're back at the start. Okay. Um. Ugh. Okay, here we go. All right, so one last one open on the other side. And now we can leave this area. This is it. Let's go. Let's go. All right, light amplification off. All right. Um. So he's not in this room. It has nothing to do with the area with these paths. It's still dark, so I'm gonna reamplify here. Um, so, final area, final hint. Um, there is a flash that uh, there, you flash to a different area real quick. Um, and there, there is a hint about what you're supposed to do. And if you come here just real slowly, you will see. There you go. That's the sequence of torches that you're supposed to follow through the path. So, let's do it. And it goes uh, red, green, green, blue, red. Uh, never go to those greens. <laughs> red, green, green, blue, uh, green, blue, green, blue, green, 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 blue, green, Blue, green, uh, troll, green, now it goes what? Red, blue, yeah, red, blue, red, blue, red, blue, red. There's our last Doom guy. Uh, hello, there we go. And let's confirm that we got them all. We'll see the door is open if we got them all. Yes, it is. So I will not go through there. You you do all that stuff yourself. So I will number these. You can see the numbers. That's the um, that's the TNT level number which they were in. And I will. So if you come here and you're missing, you know, number six, you can just click Doom Guy number six in my video description, and you'll get the hints followed by the way to do it. All right. Thank you so much. Good hunting.